Traction Waveform 10 is a solid piece of DAW software. In this Traction tutorial, I'm going to show you how to record your guitar using a free guitar amp simulator, and I'm also going to show you loop recording, and then how to edit your audio by comping takes. Waveform 10 makes this incredibly easy. Keep watching. Welcome to Simple Green Tech. I'm Radio Zane, and on this channel, I do audio tech tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you unleash your creativity. Today, I'm digging into Traction Waveform 10, doing this Traction tutorial to show you how to loop record guitar and then edit your audio by comping takes. And if you don't know what comping takes is, I'll get more into that in just a little bit. For this video, I'm using my Epiphone guitar. I've got a Curlin cable going direct into my Focusrite 2i2. And I'll link to that audio interface in the description below, just in case you want some more information on it. But right now, let's get started. All right, with Waveform open, I'm going to add the free Guitar Amp Simulator plugin, Amplitube. Now I'm going to set the track to be on Input 2, which is the input on my Focusrite 2i2 that I'll be using. And I'm going to arm it for recording. I'm just going to choose a preset here. So we're actually ready to start recording right now, but before we record, I want to change a few settings for loop recording. The first thing that we need to do is to set these markers for about eight bars. So now we have a loop point here, and then we want to go down here and click on loop, and that's going to tell it to loop while we record. And then we also want the click track on. Now you may not have changed any of the settings with your click track. I highly recommend going over to here where it says click track and then go to pre-record count in length. And I use one bar, you can use however many, but this is so you get a count in before it actually starts to record. It gives you a little bit of buffer time. And then the other thing I like to change is to use loud clicks to emphasize bars. And we're now ready to record. So I'm just going to hit record and you'll hear the count in and then we will start recording after it counts in the one bar. Okay, so I have my recording and it looks like just a single track here, but if you click on this little plus sign down here, you'll see that I have all of these takes. So I want to show takes. And here we are with our takes. It looks like I did seven takes. This one really wasn't anything here. So my playing was pretty rusty. I haven't played guitar for a while. So what we're going to do is highlight one whole bar here. So we have something up here in our comp track. Now, if we want to change the different bars here, say we like this take two bar one, we'll keep that. But now we may want to hear what bar two sounds like on this track here. So we just click and drag and highlight it. And now up here in our composite track up here, it's changed it to this bar. Now we may want to change this bar here to this track and this one to our seventh track. And this one we'll put back here. And now we have a composite track made up from all of these takes here. Let's hear what it sounds like. Now my playing was pretty rusty. I didn't really know what to play here, so I just kind of came up with something. But we're just looking at the composite track, not on my playing ability. So now there was one take there, I think it was this one here that I didn't really like. So I'm going to change that one out now. 
and we'll put this here. Let's hear what that sounds like. And then if you don't want to see all these tracks anymore, you're happy with that composite track, you can just click the plus again, then hide takes, and we just have the one composite track here. Other things you can do with it are you can flatten the current comp, which would flatten all of these into your composite track, and you would only be left with the composite track. It would actually destroy all of your takes. So I don't really recommend doing that because you may want to go back and use another take later on. So I usually just hide the takes. You can also unpack all of these tracks to new tracks, which mean they would go into track two, three, four, five, six, etc. And you may want to do that if you want to double up on some guitars and you want to use those takes. That's fine if you want to do that. You can really see how powerful this feature can be for getting the perfect guitar recording or even vocal recording or whatever it is you're recording. You can use the loop recording and comping technique. Click this video here to see my free guitar amp simulator comparison video and click this one down here to see what YouTube recommends you watch next. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane and we'll talk soon.